Hello, I'm Todd Campbell. I'm Energy Policy Advisor at the United States Department of Agriculture. I work on a number of special projects uh, here at the department to build an efficient, renewable, and bio-based economy. Uh, one of those special projects that I've worked on in my five years here at USDA is a partnership with the dairy industry, the Innovation Center for U.S. Dairy, uh, to support uh, the industry on voluntary uh, emission reductions, uh, uh, reducing emissions 25% by 2020. Uh, as, as we worked on this, we, we realized that uh, in order for the dairy uh, industry to succeed in manure management and the, the 30 to 40 percent of emission reductions that come about uh, with, with biogas capture and utilization, uh, we really needed to work to build a, a larger biogas industry in the United States. And so the roadmap was really broadened then at that point. And, and what, what is it doing for industry now and for government? What's happening now that the roadmap has been published? It was. It, 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 it's broadened from that, that small slice of, of livestock, uh, of the livestock industry, uh, to really cover uh, other, other priorities of the department, including the food waste challenge, uh, but really to look at all organic recyclables and to, uh, to capture those nutrients, uh, to capture methane and produce renewable energy. And uh, uh, because of this, uh, we were able to include uh, uh, that as a part of the methane strategy to the President's Climate Action Plan and broaden the work from just here at the USDA uh, to include a partnership with EPA and the Department of Energy as well as the biogas and dairy industry uh, uh, to really come together and focus on uh, all of those action items that are needed uh, to, to really create a, an environment for the biogas industry to flourish uh, and to accelerate deployment of technology. Wow, so the roadmap is actually connected to the President's uh, climate change initiative and, and probably even the UN talks in Paris this December, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, renewable energy is a, a priority of the department, but, but what we see with, with uh, biogas utilization is not only do we have uh, fossil fuel emission uh, offset, but, but by destroying that methane in the process, by utilizing that methane, uh, you get exponentially uh, uh, more greenhouse gas emission reductions. So, so as part of the Paris talks and, and as part of the, the uh, Secretary's recent announcement on building blocks for a climate smart agriculture, uh, partnership with the livestock industry and, and, and building the broader biogas industry with methane capture and utilization uh, uh, really creates a win-win-win situation where we can reduce costs for our producers, for our communities, create renewable energy and, and jobs, uh, as well as reduce emissions uh, uh, here in the United States and across the world. Along with following uh, and, and looking for that progress report for the Biogas Opportunities Roadmap and the work uh, uh, that lies ahead for the Department of Agriculture, the federal government, and uh, partnering with, with private industry, uh, I want folks to, uh, to remember application deadlines for our Rural Energy for America program. Uh, we've made a number of changes with the new regulation that's, that's been rolled out. Uh, that, that really makes it uh, a, more, uh, a better product for lenders and project developers to build biogas systems. Loan guarantees can go up to $25 million, grants are available up to $500,000, and application deadlines are coming up June 30th for the grant application, but guaranteed loans uh, are, are available year-round and are awarded on a monthly basis. So contact your energy coordinator. Uh, the folks here uh, have more information on, on uh, uh, where you can go, but usda.gov uh, slash energy is a great portal uh, to find more information on USDA energy programs and the Rural Energy for America program.